Rebecca, um, I'll have to see if I can get tickets to the uh, Skeptics in the Pub talk in Auckland uh, when you're coming here in December the 11th, I think. Now, I get your point about the TSA pressuring people to go into the backscatter machines with this threat of groping, uh, which kind of sucks, but on the actual safety questions of, of the machines, uh, I think you're just adding to the tune. You haven't really said anything definite on whether they're safe or not. So I did a quick bit of math and a bit of Googling. Um, these machines give about 0 0.05 microsieverts of radiation. Now on a six hour flight, you'd get about 20 microsieverts of radiation. So that's a lot less, but that's whole body dose, and like you say, the stuff is concentrated in the skin. So what would be the ratio of what's absorbed in your skin compared to what's absorbed through your whole body? Now, if you're sitting in an aircraft, uh, the radiation's probably coming straight to the top of your head and right through your body to your bum and through your legs, and average thickness, well, oh, let's say half a metre. Um, average thickness of your skin about a millimetre, so the, given that ratio, you work out maths, you're getting about the equivalent of a 25 microsievert do full body dose concentrated in your skin. So that device is like flying, doubling your flying, well if you're flying to Auckland from Canada or someplace, I'm not sure where you live, sorry. Does it say? No, in UK. Sorry. Well, if you're flying to AK, you're going to get a lot more radiation from the flight than you are from the uh, backscatter machine. Uh, if it's a short flight, you're probably going to get a little bit more concentrated radiation than from the backscatter machine. So, uh, you know, don't worry too much about it if you're happy to be flying. And I'm not particularly happy to be flying, but. You know, the bat scatter machine isn't going to add that much more to your radiation load. Now, where is my video software gone? Alt tab. <laughs>